Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create 5 step business infographic slide in PowerPoint. Here you can see I have created 5 sections here which is uh, dividing by the lines and I have created uh, something where it looks like a paper and when I click it will show you the step 1 with the title and detail text and with the icon here then it will show you the step 2 the step 3 the step 4 and the last one the step 5 so let's see how to create this beautiful business infographic slide in PowerPoint add a new slide go to insert shapes select a rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle and you can see it is more curved to reduce the curve you have to just drag this orange point it will become less curved maybe I'll reduce the size a little bit and then shape outline make it no outline and fill with some dark color so I'm going to use this dark blue color now select this press ctrl D to duplicate it and fill this with with some light color or lightish gray reduce the size maybe this much size and then I'm just going to cut this into with using oval shape I'm just going to make an oval shape a small oval shape give some different color shape outline make it no outline and put it one by one this is first and give a little gap maybe this much size is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and if you want to make sure that the size is the spaces between these are not equal then what you can do is select all this oval shape first align left and then align you can say distribute vertically so it will give you equal spacing between the objects so I'm just going to increase a little bit I think this is okay so I'm now going to select the oval shape and this white rectangle go to merge shape and just say subtract so you end up with this shape alright now I'm just going to add some lines here go to insert shape and select the line I'm going to add one line here till this much shape outline you can give a light gray color line I'm going to add one more maybe one here three and one more so one two three four five sections we have again you have to just make sure that this is properly aligned align left and align distribute vertically control G to group it and if you want you can reduce the size a little bit and ungroup it now it's time to add the steps here now one thing I have noticed that the space here from the top and bottom is not the same so I'm just going to select these lines again and then I'll just bring them somewhat down I think this is okay and then for to add the points I'm just going to insert shapes and I'm just going to select this arrow pentagon I will make it maybe this is the size if ideally reduce a little bit 
shape outline make it no outline i'm just going to put it here this is the first and just make a little bit outside of this box right mouse click go to format shape and give some a uh, different gradient color for this i'm going to delete these two points keeping only two stops here so the first one i'm going to select maybe this color red or pink i'm going to combine with maybe a purple so i'll be ending up with this color and then you can give a shadow effect also zoom in and here i'm just going to give a uh, one more shape so that it looks like a 3d effect go to shapes select a right triangle draw the right triangle here shape outline make it no outline and give some dark color here maybe this and then rotate it flip vertical and then flip horizontal so you can see here this particular shape is there now i'm going to insert a text here i will just say step sorry step 01 center align make it bold and a white color reduce the size to fit the window i'm going to select this press control g to group it control d so this will be my second this will be my third fourth and fifth i will select all this and then i'll just say go to format align left then this will be my step 2 3 4 and this is 5 so you have to give a equal spacing here so let me just pull this up so second will be starting somewhere here third will be here fourth and fifth again you can select all this and say distribute vertically all right once this is done you can just change the color of this so i'm just going to select different colors maybe this color and here i'm going to select a different color so it should be the other way around i can just drag this here then select this again give some different color maybe i'll give a orange a dark red with orange combination so likewise you can change all these colors and then i'm just going to add one more shape here for that i'm going to select this press control d to duplicate again exactly put it on the top and using the and i'm going to change this color to somewhat dark color maybe this color and go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle so i'm just going to keep this uh shape only i mean this much size only and remaining i'm going to delete so select the rectangle and this blue rectangle go to merge shape and say subtract so you can see here you have this gray color available and then i'm just going to select this lines and say bring to front and then you can insert the icons here to insert the icon go to insert icons for this you need to have a active internet connection 
so select any five different icons from the list so I'm just going to select one two three four five and insert and place this one by one so one will come here two will be here three is here fourth and fifth and then based on this color you can change that one the graphic fill for example i'll put this color then this this will be on orange color likewise you can just change these colors and the last one you can add some text here to add text go to insert text box the first thing you're going to add the title you can make it bold and the color also the same color and then you can add a detailed text here size color you can make it a gray a little bit less and then select both this text and group it Control G and duplicate add one by one and then you can change the color according to the the color you have selected for the steps so once this is done I'm going to add one more for example I'm just going to select this copy Control C and paste it here this shape I'm going to change go to format edit shape change shape to just say a rectangle so the shape got changed I will reduce the size and I will put it here and go to the shadow effects and I'm going to select this shadow effect which is inside left press ctrl D and select all this align just say align right and then change the color as usual so maybe I'll just select this home go to format and click here likewise you can change all these colors now we have completed the the designing part now it's time to do the animation here I have changed the color also so before adding the animation make sure that this all these objects are grouped so this is grouped and then the text also should be grouped which is already grouped we can change the title uh, the color also which is a blue and this will be a purple now close the format background go to animations enable the animation pane first I'm going to select this and say wipe wipe go to effect options and say wipe from right and once this is done I'm going to select this I'll say again wipe wipe just say from left make it after previous and then the text should come there select the text give a wipe effect say this is from left also should be after previous and then the icon should come for that icon I'm going to add a different animation effect for that go to more entrance effect and basic zoom and this also you have to make it after previous so if I play it will show you something like this so using the animation painter I'm going to copy the animation select this first animation painter click here then I'm going to select this animation painter then the text animation painter and click on text and this one click it here likewise you have to do it for all let me just do this once again select this then select the step 2 animation painter copy to the step 3 and select the text animation painter put it here 
and the last for this one the icons and do it for the step 4 and 5 so you can see here I've added all the animation so if I just play it will show you the first second step third fourth and the fifth step That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.